Oh, good. We're all here. So every pony got an urgent summons to the castle with no explanation? Yep. I just love a good mysterious summons. What's it about? Do you think it's a surprise party? Hey, why are we running? Because something could be terribly wrong. Some pony turned bad, another evil creature back for revenge. Don't you think you're being a little paranoid? Why else would the princesses send scrolls in such a hurry? Good point. They'd know better than to make us worry. Plus, I like it when he runs so fast, the walls get all blurry. <laughs> Race ya! <laughs> yeah. Girls, thank you so much for coming. What's wrong? What can we do? That's just it. Nothing's wrong. Everything's perfect. Did y'all call us down here just to tell us that? With all due respect, Majesties, you might want to save your urgent summons for matters that are a bit more, well, urgent. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is more to it. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. And it's all thanks to you, Twilight. And your friends, of course. Who, us? Oh, sure. <laughs> It's about time you noticed. Thank you. Because of your efforts, there's been less and less for us to do. So, after much consideration, my sister and I have decided it is time for us to retire. Huh? Breaking news! The royal princess is retiring. I have so many questions. Who will take over? Who will run Equestria? Will it be someone tall, dark, and handsome? Or will it be the Lord of Chaos? <laughs> Oh, fine. Go with the obvious choice. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? You're retiring? Princesses can retire? <laughs> Of course we can. I, for one, am looking forward to a little R&R. &R. Maybe a trip to Silver Shoals. And you want me to take your place? Mm hmm With the help of your friends, of course. We can't think of any pony more worthy. Over the years, we've watched you grow. You face task after task, challenge after challenge. Countless adversities. Yeah, 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 we get it. And you've always prevailed. Thank you, but that doesn't mean that I'm... that we're ready to do what you do. Oh, of course you are. I realize this is a lot to take in, but... Nope! Makes perfect sense. We're awesome! <gasps> Does this mean we get all your powers? Ooh, ooh. I call dims on showing up in every pony's dreams! <laughs> you can't be ready to step into their horseshoes just like that. Well... If the princesses think it's time to retire, we're not a bad choice. We always have Equestria's best interest at heart. That's a fair point, which should be taken into consideration when we have a roundtable discussion. Well, I'm in. Tumblings will all need a complete wardrobe update. And I would love to pick your brain about main maintenance when you have a moment. As long as we all have each other, I'm sure we can do it. Yay! Protectors of Equestria on three. One, two... If you're all on board, I guess I am too. Protectors of Equestria! It'll be a bit of an adjustment, but I imagine the transfer of power will be a lengthy process, which will be... Actually, we just need a few days to put together a little ceremony. <laughs> a few days? Uh. But that's so soon! Shouldn't there be some sort of training program that lasts weeks, no, months, if not years? Everything you've gone through over the years has been a training program. Okay, but there's got to be a guide or a rule book. Yes, I have it right here. How to rule Equestria by No Pony Make Pretend Smith. The friendship journal you wrote yourselves is a better guide than any we could provide. 
We have the utmost confidence in you, and we hope you'll have the same in yourself. Oh, I'm absolutely certain she does. I am not confident about this at all. Well, that's what I thought. I was being sarcastic before. What? This is all so predictable. Now's the part where you all tell little Sparkle here that everything is going to be fine, but she won't believe you. Oh, I don't need to be here for this. It's just, I know I said yes, but then they said in a few days, and there's still so much to figure out. It's all happening so fast. I think I need some. Okay, I'll feel much better. Once you make a plan. Oh, wow. It's like you knew you were going to react this way. We did. Classic twilighting. Twilighting? You, you made me a verb? It's not a bad thing. We just know you have a process. Stage one, you get big news and you're like, no! But then you pace and you chart, you worry. It's okay. You go ahead and twilight and we'll be here for you. You're all acting so calm, but this is a big deal. What do we do if something big happens and the princesses aren't there to help? Um, if you think about it, they literally almost never help. Huh. And we still always win! Like when Sombra almost took back the Crystal Empire, or when Chrysalis pretended to be Cadence, or when Kira came back and absorbed all the magic, or the other time Chrysalis tried to take over, or with Cozy Glow in the school! <gasps> Am I missing anything? Pony of Shadows. Starlight when she was evil. Discord when he was evil. Do flim and flam count. See, we've almost always done things without the princess's help. Which makes sense now, because it was all just training for you to take over. And it worked. I mean, if you think about it, there hasn't been a single villain that we couldn't defeat. Phew. One day, you'll see. I will defeat Twilight, Sparkle, and her friends. And they will pay for stealing my kingdom. T-Rex! It is Lord t -Rex. And what is it now? I just want to make sure you can see my best friend's rock sculpture from over there. Gets it? Chrysalis, queen of the changelings. Or at least I will be, when I'm restored to my rightful place. Why did you summon me? What do you want? Ah! Oh, golly. We didn't bring you. I thought you freed us from Tartarus. Tartarus? Whoever pulled you from there must have been some pony very powerful indeed. <laughs> King Sombra, you have returned. Why did you bring us here? You didn't. It was I. You may call me Grogar. <gasps> the Grogar? I thought that you were a legend. I've heard of you. Who? I assure you. I am very real, and you have all been brought here as part of my plan to rid Equestria of Twilight Sparkle and her friends once and for all. <laughs> Grogar! I have been away too long if my name no longer strikes fear into the heart of one so tiny. Perhaps a demonstration of power is in order? Go 
Yoga is ancient and extremely powerful. The land that would become Equestria was a mere collection of farms and pastures until he declared himself emperor of all he saw. I remember hearing tales of his tyranny when I was young. I have also heard of the first emperor of Equestria, the father of monsters. I gave life to the foulest of creatures and allowed them to run wild, taking what they wanted and destroying the rest. My reign was a glorious, fear-soaked epoch of darkness in Equestria. Ha! Until Gusty the Great rose up and banished you. That fool believed taking my bell would defeat me, but she only weakened me temporarily. Um, T-Rex is really old. No offense, you look great. But if he knew about you when he was young, we have super different ideas about what temporarily means. Silence! I've spent millennia gathering power, biding my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to seize control of Equestria, and watching all of you. I've seen each of your humiliating defeats at the hooves of six puny ponies. And you know why they've always bested you? Because they cheat. Because they are annoyingly lucky. I'm just a kid, so... It is because they work together. Where one is weak, another is strong, and thus unified, they are a formidable force. But we shall use their own strategy to defeat them. What are you suggesting? I suggest nothing. I demand that you join me, and together, Equestria will be ours. I don't do ours. I only do mine. I will take back the Crystal Empire on my own, and I will destroy any pony who gets in my way. Such confidence. Go. Try to take back your kingdom. I shall send you there myself. If you prevail, you may keep it. But when you fail, you will submit to me. And if I refuse this deal? Then I shall return you to the darkness from which you were summoned. Fine, but this is a waste of time, as I will crush those who defy me. I will defeat all who get in my way. I... I advise the rest of you to prepare to work together. Well, working together sounds an awful lot like making friends, so... You two are in luck, because I know all about that! Why? You in here? <laughs> With the school closed for the summer, I didn't think any pony would be here. So much to do, not enough time. No! I already did that. Wait. No! I didn't! Oh! Not enough time! Help! She's spiraling! We're at the My Plan Needs a Plan stage of a total Twilight Meltdown! Oh, got it. Twilight? Did I write down eliminate redundant lists on my school of friendship to-do list or my personal to-do list? Twilight! Ah! Starlight! Oh, good, you're here! I need to talk to you. Okay. Hang on. I had Talk to Starlight written down on one of these. Just let me find it so I can cross it off. <laughs> wow, you are twilighting hard. You say twilighting too? Well, excuse me! But this is the first time I've ever been asked to run a whole kingdom! Uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk to me about? Ah, here it is. I wrote it down. Starlight, you have blossomed into one of the strongest, smartest, most caring ponies I know, and I can't think of any pony better to leave in charge of my castle and the school of friendship, so what do you think? What? You want me to take care of the castle and run the school? Yes? Uh, I can't. I'm not ready! Remember what happened the last time you left me in charge? And now you want me to do it permanently? What if I don't do the right things? <sighs> what if? Starlight, get a hold of yourself. You've risen to every challenge you've ever faced. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've got this. <laughs> and so do you. See what I did there? You just said everything you need to hear. Ha ha ha, nice try. But running a school and running a country are two very different things. Now, if you don't mind, I have 7,432 more things to take care of before I become the new ruler of Equestria! <sighs> It was a valiant effort.
Once his sombras breach the castle. Hurry, Twilight. We need you. Do you have Flurry Heart? I thought you had her. <gasps> you won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have. <laughs> with the crystal heart now in my possession, there is nothing to stop me from ruling the crystal empire. Kneel before Sombra. Ah, long live the king. so quickly. <laughs> sure thing, but if you're going to be the ruler of Equestria, you may want to work on your penmanship. This looks like it says, Cadence sent an emergency message, Sombra's back, and he's taking over the Crystal Empire. That's exactly what it says. But, but how is that possible? I thought the Crystal Heart had dispelled him into the ether. I have no idea, but he's back and it's up to us to save the Empire and my family. Shouldn't somebody tell Celestia and Luna? Ooh, good point. One of us should probably loop in the real rulers of Equestria. No. If we're going to run Equestria, we'll need to handle things like this on our own. Oh, Twilight. Could this mean that you finally have the confidence to ascend the throne like the princesses believe you can? Maybe. Unless you'd consider taking care of Sombra for us? Oh, no, 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 no. You're absolutely right. You need to learn how to handle these things on your own. Ta-ta! Handling things on our own is all well and good, but last time we defeated Sombra with the Crystal Heart. What if he has it already? How are we gonna stop him? <gasps> with the elements of harmony! With those, we can defeat any pony, even Sombra! Ah, uh, no, 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 you didn't need the elements the last time you defeated Sombra. And I'm not sure that using them still counts as handling things on your own. My family is in danger. I'm not taking any chances. She's got a point. Ugh, fine. What's his problem? Starlight, can you stay here and take care of the school? I've got you covered. that you think that will do anything. It might not, but they will. Cavalry's here! <laughs> How can I be surprised when I'm waiting to show all of you your greatest fear? Equestria was in your care, and you let it be destroyed. You should all surrender. Nothing can defeat your own fears. We didn't need to defeat them. We just needed to face them long enough to distract you. It's cute that you think that'll do anything. You may have won the battle, but I shall win the war! Thanks, Twily. That was fun! And easy. 
As magical battles go, that was a cakewalk. Mmm, cakewalk. <laughs> <laughs> we did handle this pretty well, on our own. Does this mean... I still don't feel like I'm 100% ready. But will I ever? Knowing you, nope. I have you guys, and we have the elements. And together, we've never failed. We'll be okay. Once again, Equestria is safe. What should we do to celebrate? I vote for a cakewalk! What's going on? I don't know. on my good friend, Tyrick, but you might like to know he left food out. Again. I'll deal with it when I'm done. Don't trust anything that nosy little Pegasus says. I don't trust anything any of you say. <laughs> Are you planning on attacking any pony anytime soon? If not, I don't know why I'm wasting my time here. I am a queen, you know. I'm leaving, since it's impossible to accomplish the work I need to do here. I suggest the three of you come to some kind of accord. I don't care how, but you must learn to work together. Only then can we accomplish what you so greatly desire. The defeat of Twilight Sparkle and her friends! Tons of fun! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? says teamwork like an inspirational banner. When Grogar sees this, he'll realize there's no way he could survive without me. You're gonna have to exercise a lot to get as big as you were when you absorbed the life force of all those ponies. Anywho, Grogar wants us all to work together, so I've scheduled a team meeting. Doesn't that sound fun? And since Grogar left me in charge... No, he didn't. <laughs> someone's a real grumpy tour today. If we aren't meeting, I guess I could just stay and offer positive and inspiring... Fine. I'll join your meeting. Just leave. See you soon. It's been weeks and Grogar has done nothing. It's not healthy to hold on to all of this rage. I could lash out at any moment. And how are you doing this fight? How do you think I'm doing? I'm ready to exact my revenge! See what I mean? Being cooped up with nothing to do is the worst! You know what you need? A team meeting! I don't do meetings. Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't! And even if he did, Chrysalis obeys no one. There'll be cupcakes. Grogar wants us to work together to defeat our enemies. Which means we need to trust each other. If we are to trust one another, perhaps inform Lord T-Rex to stop trying to absorb my essence! <laughs> I wasn't doing anything of the sort! How dare you! How dare I? Do you know to whom you are speaking? How could I not? 
tell your log every five minutes. This is why Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't! I think I know a way that we can grow. Time to try something new, something better. No more so low. Trust is the way to go. And all we need to do is work together. Ah, oh, please. No thanks, no way. I feel the need to say. I'm smarter, stronger, and I don't need you to. Ha! Stronger? Okay. I guess we'll downplay how bad you got your rear and hand it to you. It's time to try a better way to be bad. Oh, do, do we really, really need, need a, a better, better way, way to, to be, be bad? bad? Teamwork, please. What a fad. Combine all our strength. We'll go to any length once we have a better way to be bad. Let's go begin. This time we're gonna win. The ice you're on is thin, so watch what you say. I know you're in. I think I see a grin. For all this pain and torture, I swear you'll pay. This time we've got a better way to be Sounds like, like a long shot. shot, there's better way to be bad. United as one, we'll make this pony so sad. If we say okay, would you just go away? Once we have a better way to be bad. We want to break their friendship, we want to make them weak. You want revenge on Starlight, you want that huge physique. So let's increase our chances by working as a team to crush our enemies to death. <laughs> I think I see a better way to be bad. Just put me in charge, make me queen, you'll be glad. No, listen to me, I'm the best of us three. Then, then you'll, you'll see, see a better, better way, way to be bad. bad. Wait, this is my thing, a better way to be bad. You shall do as I command, I will rule this triad. Hey, this is my song. Sorry, not any longer. A better way to be bad. The ponies be sad. That would make me so glad. Now, now we've got, got a better, better way to be bad. Hey, you stepped on my cue. Uh, well, I did not. Oh, you stepped so on our cue. Enough. Enough. I had hoped by now you would have resolved your differences, but apparently not. Perhaps if we knew what the plan was, we would be better able to prepare. Assuming you even have a plan. Of course I have a plan. I have located an object of power, and it occurs to me this is the perfect test. The three of you will work together to retrieve it. Against this item, those ponies won't stand a chance. I have come close to ruling Equestria several times. Perhaps I should be the one to lead us. I nearly drained all the magic from Equestria. That was good. I absorbed all the magic of Equestria. I could feel it flowing through my body as I grew. Each of you failed to defeat Twilight Sparkle and her friends. My power is greater than all of yours combined. This is but a fraction of it. Understood? Uh, okay. Oh. Now you shall retrieve the rest of it. Thousands of moons ago, the self-righteous Gusty the Great, unable to best me face to face, stole my bewitching bell. A talisman containing much of my own magic. The bell cannot be destroyed. So Gusty hid it in a place it has taken me millennia to discover. An enchanted cave high atop Mount Everhoof protected by magical winds that prevent any pony from reaching its peak. There the bell has remained until now. Scale Mount Everhoof. Bring me back my bell. <laughs> the ease of this task is laughable. Well, it sounded easy.
Scale the mountain. Retrieve Grogar's bell. Together! I drew up a detailed plan with several visual aids to show how we can... ditch each other and do it alone. Maybe when I'm waiting for them at the top, then they'll appreciate me. As if anything on this mountain is scarier than I. <laughs> halt! Who goes there? A pony? There ain't been ponies around here, and I don't know how many moons. <laughs> Golly good sir, I'm just a poor lost pony looking for help. Oh, don't fret, little filly. Oh, Rusty Bucket here at your service. I'm so glad I found you. I need help getting to the top of the mountain. Uh, no can do, ma'am. Why not? Shh, not so loud. This here's avalanche territory. I'm the guardian of this here mountain. It's my job to keep ponies from heading up. Nothing at the top but dangerous snow, dangerous ice, and dangerous wind. Basically, it's dangerous. It must get lonely all by yourself. Maybe I could be your friend? Oh, I'd love a friend. So now that we are friends, you could help me up the mountain. Hmm, uh, a real friend wouldn't ask me to do something I'm not supposed to do. Says so right here in the Journal of Friendship, written by Twilight Sparkle and her friends. Are you kidding me? Shh. I didn't want to be friends anyway. Oh. Not that way, neither. Ugh. I tried being nice! <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Now just calm down there, Philly. You calm down! Ponies are supposed to do what I ask them to do! It's like my thing, okay? Apparently, I don't need any pony else. to the top. Surprise, surprise. You didn't make it to the top either. I didn't try to. What? It took about five minutes to deduce that Grogar was right. None of us could make it up alone. So rather than subject myself to the elements, I decided to let you two face the danger. Take what you learned and use it to my advantage. <laughs> with your I'm smarter than you attitude and Tartarus, but I'm over it! I've had enough of you trying to manipulate me with that insincere, syrupy sweetness. At least now we can see the real you. 
This is not the real me! I'm cute and lovable! <laughs> no, you're not! You're annoying and you snore! I do not snore! <laughs> At least I don't talk to my Gram Gram in my sleep. Don't you dare bring Gram Gram into this! <laughs> Love. I haven't eaten this well in ages. B so gross. Just so we're clear, I didn't save you because I like you. I did it because, because I need us. Yes. Clearly, I was right to wait. Now tell me everything you learned today. Leave nothing out. Why are you doing that? Didn't you already drain it of love? I always save a little for the next day. You cocoon all of your um, meals? Of course. So when you pony nap Twilight and the others, you cocooned them? Yes, until that sow starlight glimmer freed them, corrupted my subjects, and stole my hive. Those ponies have weaknesses. I use that turncoat discord. Tricked him into helping me capture his so-called friends. Uh, Discord was really something until friendship ruined him. You should have seen Twilight's face when her friends appeared in bubbles around me. She was all... Oh, no, that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's so stressed out all the time. When I posed as her former foal sitter, I thought she was going to implode. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have seen her face when I nearly erased all the magic from Equestria. Oh, magic was a little excessive, don't you think? Meh, I think big. Besides, it would have been worth it just to see Twilight and her friends bow down to me. Indeed it would. Who wouldn't love to see those prissy ponies realize they lost everything? I'm a pathetic pony princess. I made a detailed list of all the ways I'm a failure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, working with you two may not be the worst thing. Perhaps, as long as it results in the complete destruction of our enemies. I wouldn't have it any other way. Do the pathetic princess thing again! <laughs> I'm okay! absorb it and make it go away? I can only absorb magic from living beings. Like her? Betrayal! Not betrayal. Teamwork. If T-Rex absorbs your energy, he might be strong enough to break through. And then? Then he gives it back. I do? Mm-hmm. How do I know you won't take my magic and leave me? Would we do that to you? Okay, normally, yes, we would. 
I'll give you your magic back. Do it. So much power! Welcome back, baby! It's not big enough for me. Maybe not you. Keep it open, or I'll be trapped forever! Would that be so terrible? <laughs> Can't hold much longer! My magic! I... I wasn't sure you were going to give it back. Neither was I! But working together seemed smarter than to continue fighting. When we helped each other, it felt better somehow. I haven't felt like this since before I lost my hive. Having others who will be there for you is... pleasing. All of these years, taking power from ponies. When you use your power to help others. Yes, it feels... No! Oh. The magic of friendship is like a disease, an infection that spreads to those around you. I watched it infect my hive. I will not let it get me. Same. Obviously. But Groger said we have to work together. Grogar is too powerful. Something must be done about that. Let Grogar think we're his loyal servants. In the meantime, we'll hatch our own plan. Ooh, I love a good backstabbing. After that, we can go back to trying to destroy each other. In the meantime, what do we do with this? You failed to retrieve the bell! Almighty Grogar! We work together as you asked. We just aren't as powerful as you. Ah! Obviously. At least you finally did as you were told and worked together. Of course. Whatever you command. Forget about that old bell. You were right. We're so much more powerful when we work as a team. Since you three were unable to retrieve my bewitching bell, we need another source of great magical power to defeat Twilight and her friends. He's gone! I don't trust him. None of us do. Which is why double-crossing him with his own bell will be so satisfying. If we can figure out how to use it. Hmm. Twilight Sparkle may be the worst, but she does know stuff. She once said the Archives in Canterlot has a restricted area. Celestia and Luna love to hoard information for themselves. If there's an answer, it's there. My triumphant return to Canterlot? I like the sound of that. Oh my gosh! Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Sorry to interrupt. We know you're busy planning the summer sun celebration as we requested, but... Oh, things seem uh, calmer than we would have expected. No complaints here. With the exception of the odd trivia night, I've made a lot of progress since the royal swanifying ceremony. 
You may not know this about me, but I occasionally freak out. Uh, that was a joke. I wanted to show you with the Summer Sun celebration how much I've improved. So I focused on delegating and trusting others. It's been great! That's actually what we came to talk to you about. This may be the last Summer Sun celebration you'll need to plan. Did I do something wrong? Of course not. It's just that the celebration has always been about us. My defeat of Luna. And, thanks to you and your friends, my reunion with my sister. Now that we're leaving, we don't see a need for the holiday any longer. Now that you're... My sister and I have decided the time for us to retire is upon us. You and your friends have proven you are ready to lead Equestria. So let this be the last Summer Sun celebration, as Equestria leaves behind the old to embrace the new. My goodness! How are you feeling about all this? Something like this could definitely send you into full freaky outy mode! I'm actually fine, but if this is going to be the last Summer Sun celebration, I want to make sure it's the best celebration ever. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. So even though everything was done, I thought of a few last-minute changes I could use your help with. Ah! I knew it! Oh, the end of a beloved holiday? Last-minute changes to a celebration? That sounds positively chaotic. What are you doing here? I've known Celestia and Luna longer than any of you. I terrorized them. They turned me into stone. If this is the last Summer Sun situation, I simply can't miss it. Well, I see I've arrived just in time for the... Twilight gives her friends an impossibly long and overly detailed list predicament. I guess some Draconiquist isn't the know-it-all he thinks he is. This is it? What? We were kind of with Discord on this one. No more crazy lists. No more freaking out. With your help, I know we've got this. Oh, character growth is so boring. Do I at least get my own note card? There. Now I need to go rewrite my speech, but if you all look at your cards, you'll see... Can't talk now. Have so much to get done before sunrise. Why are so many ponies up in the middle of the night? It's that silly sun holiday. How many holidays do you ponies have? No matter, getting into the castle won't be a problem. Are you sure about that? Oh, those are new. But even so... Transfer! Have to head inside. Open up. Right, of course. <laughs> uh, do yours get glitchy too? More medallions, more problems, am I right? They've increased security into the castle. This is going to be more challenging than I thought. Please. Time is of the essence. Let's go team! We need to know what we're doing before we go and do it. Pinky, you and I are giving Brayburn and the Appaloosan Pony some adjustments to the menu. Fluttershy and I are meeting the Pegasi from Cloudsdale to give them changes to the weather. Spike, we're going to update the Flaming Sky Firework Unicorn Troop with Twilight's new vision. And I'm supposed to make sure Discord doesn't do anything Discordy? Well, that's annoyingly specific. Increased security on a crowded holiday with Twilight and her friends bumbling around? This is impossible. Oh, no. This is perfect. We need a distraction, and those ridiculous ponies just gave it to us. Now, do exactly as I tell you. Oh, it ain't 
ain't gonna be easy, but I think we can whip up these new cookies Twilight wants before sunrise. If any pony can handle some last minute bacon, Brayburn, it's y'all. We brought plenty for the celebration. If she keeps testing, we might be in trouble. But I see a suspicious looking cookie! You okay? I feel weak all of a sudden. Is some pony back there? What is it? Every pony, get away from the food till we figure out what's going on. <laughs> the princess wants what? Just what's on that little card. No big deal. No big deal. It's a much more aggressive weather pattern than what was originally ordered. This this is very irregular. We'll need to... No. Uh, first we must... Wait. We can... Take a breath. <gasps> Let it out slowly. Tell the princess we will do our best. We're sure you're doing an excellent job. Oh, yeah, totally. You're not going to panic and screw it up at all. I, I, I'm not built for high-pressure situations. Golly, sounds like you need some help. Who are you? Some pony who's organized enough to handle the small stuff so you can focus on the big picture. The big? Yes, that sounds right. <laughs> this kind of weather has to be handled delicately. Good thing I'm here. I'll take care of everything. Whoa! The Flaming Sky Firework Troop is a marvel. We take pride in what we do. These last minute changes aren't too challenging, are they? Huh. The more challenging, the better. We aim to astound. Now, if you don't mind, we do have a new routine to prepare. Horns at the ready! Very impressive. Thank you. Unfortunately, we have no room for any pony else at this time. <clears throat> I'm sorry. A crackle, Cosette. And I don't want to join your silly little troop. Pardon me? Oh, I meant no offense. It just seems a pity for unicorns to waste their talents on something so inconsequential. Oh. Unicorns wield magic. We are the most powerful ponies in the land. Don't you ever feel you're destined for more than performances? It's all coming together. I really think this is gonna be the best summer sun celebration ever. You've done an outstanding job. We've all done an outstanding job. And what about me? You'll be happy to know that I have been watching myself all night and I have yet to do one discordy thing. Now that truly is amazing. Twilight, we know you had uh, <laughs> difficulties using the amulet to raise the sun and moon. We thought perhaps a practice session before the festivities might be in order. That's a good idea. Thank you all so much. I sure am proud of her. Yeah, she finally realizes things will turn out fine, even when she isn't micromanaging every little detail. Brayburn? What's wrong? Earth ponies, sick, food missing, can't bake anything. Something is wrong with the weather. Storms, hurricanes, fog, you name it. It's a disaster out there. Rarity, please inform Her Highness that we will not be performing. A simple firework show is beneath us. We are better than that. What the? Everything was fine a minute ago. Apparently a lot can change in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. What are we gonna do? Do about what? <laughs> what are you doing here? 
I forgot these. You guys okay? Twilight, we're sorry, but... But, uh, we don't know what to do now that everything's all ready. <laughs> I guess I was too organized. I'll try to come up with a few last-minute errands for you before sunrise. Well, that's a relief. Explain to me why we didn't tell her the truth. Oh, Twilight is finally learning not to let her stress get the better of her. If she finds out everything went wrong, it could be devastating. Oh, she would be so upset. She'll totally freak out. Well, what do y'all suggest? Oh, oh, oh! Let's just fix it all before she notices. No lying necessary. I guess. We'd need a miracle. We have a miracle! Don't we? I suppose I could fix everything. But isn't the real miracle here the miracle of teamwork and character growth? Oh, come on! Discord is right. Twilight needs us. Whatever happened, we can fix this. What did happen? reason. Something got him all sick. Maybe the food? I ate the food too! Does that mean I'm sick? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I feel fine. I'm gonna be fired for, for sure! Rainbow Dash and the Wonderbolts will have all the weather rounded up any minute! <laughs> or not! Not here! The archives are in a different part of the castle! <laughs> what about aiming for perfection? We've set our sights higher! Higher than perfection? Higher than putting on a silly little show for the other ponies. But you were so excited before. What changed? <laughs> you two just enjoy the festivities. I have a few surprises in store for. Yes, Discord? Oh, well, don't mind me. I'm just here for the chaos. Oh, and here we go. What is Rainbow Dash doing? Pinky, is this soup? Yes, I was really hungry. No pony understands wanting to take pride in your work more than I do. You could do more with your magic than make frilly dresses. <laughs> No pony makes frills anymore. And this season is actually all about simplicity. Not and... the point, Verity! Princess! I beg your forgiveness. It's entirely my fault. What is? That! Oh, um, just a slight hiccup in the weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. Applejack, what is going on? I told y'all this was a bad idea, but no pony ever listens to me! That's it! I thought everything was fine. What is going on? Everything was going fine. Until it totally wasn't. We tried to fix it ourselves. Why didn't you tell me? We didn't want you to freak out. And you thought not telling me everything was a total disaster would avoid a freak out? When you say it like that, it sounds like a really bad plan. Here it comes! I know how I used to react, but I really have changed. Panicking won't solve anything. 
but we can handle whatever problems come our way, as long as we handle them together. Spoken like a true leader. How can we help? I love a good to-do list. So tell me exactly what happened so we can figure out exactly what to do to fix it. Equestria's future. I am sad to say that today will be the last Summer Sun celebration. Oh. Because there is something even more important to celebrate. There are two ponies who have watched over us night and day for as long as we can remember. We will no longer commemorate their battle or their reunion. Instead, we will take this day to celebrate how much they mean to all of us. From this day forward, today will be known as the Festival of the Two Sisters. Yeah! We don't know what to say. <laughs> a brand new holiday? You're my kind of princess. I'm just glad we pulled it off. About that, we just wanted to say we're real sorry. You did tell us you'd changed. As your friends, we should have trusted you. Next time you say you're not going to freak out, we'll believe you. Good, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of things I'll need my best friend's help with. <laughs> you know, it really does seem like you just might be ready for whatever comes next, Your Majesty. So, did you find what you're looking for? Once again, I've found success where you all find failure. I have located what I sought, and tomorrow I will set out to retrieve it. When I return, Equestria will finally be ours for the taking. Hmm. Oh, stop pouting. You knew you couldn't stay that buff. You had to return all the life force to those Earth ponies so Grogar doesn't suspect anything. I don't have to like it. Well, I don't like that we worked so hard to destroy their party and they still pulled it off. But you don't see me complaining. Our goal wasn't to destroy, it was to distract. And now we have exactly what we need. And no time to waste. We have to master the bell before Grogal returns. We've managed to stay one step ahead of every pony so far. You know... It really was super easy to get all those Earth Ponies and Pegasi and Unicorns to turn on each other. It was, wasn't it? Now that is something to think about. Hey there, my unicorn friend. Have you heard? About Princess Twilight Sparkle's coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do and... No, no. About the Earth Ponies. 
I know their crops have been underperforming, but... Uh... That's not it. They're hoarding the food for themselves. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful! We unicorns have to stick together, right? <laughs> Ah, Chrysalis. Another successful field trip, I presume? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No friendship, no magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. I did my part freaking out the Pegasi. And Glogar's long absence has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Glogar's Bell. This artifact can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. You're drooling on the bell. Let's try the spell before Grogar gets back. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hands. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, we can claim this land and rule our kingdoms alone once more. Full and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I have returned. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today, and we are going to ruin it with this artifact. But to succeed, you must work together. Oh, way ahead of you, Grogar. The bell! You had it all this time? Why didn't you tell me? We're villains, duh. That was unexpected. Wait, Discord was Grogar? Like the whole time. Should we follow him? Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. Doesn't she look so adorably regal up there? Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? Oh, maybe wait until after the coronation. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry about today. So, you freaking out yet? About what? Oh, I don't know. It's not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. We've all faced so much and come out okay. I know we're up to the challenge of keeping Equestria safe and happy. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which reminds me... Royal advisor? 
What's that? A new position I created for you. You've been at my side for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and succeed. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be your right hoof dragon. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. And you sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. Uh, um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. Oh, Twilight, darling, you're just in time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your apres hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the royal marshmallow eating contest gown? What? I haven't made one of those! You must tell me when they add these sorts of things. <laughs> it's okay, Rarity. I was just joking. Joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Well, that's odd. They look open. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy some. Put the bits in the mail slot. What was that about? You know, designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative roll. Who oh, thread this exquisite, can you blame them? Weather for the coronation is sunny skies. It was weird, though. Not many Pegasi wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that I don't need an official guard wherever I go? Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples? I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you were in a sugar war. For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. That unicorn chef started throwing dessert at Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crossfire! Tasty, tasty crossfire. Are you sure this is just pre-coronation nerves? Oh! My aching metatarsals. You know, you forget how convenient snap travel is. Wait, did you just walk here? On foot? Yes, actually. And I have a confession to make. You see, I might have made the teeniest boo-boo. All very well-intentioned and noble on my part, of course, Get but... to the point, Discord. Uh, you remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean, I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who are now on the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, uh, my bad. <gasps> Let me get this straight. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought back Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and t rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, how could you do this to Twilight and us? Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering? The hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A well-intentioned lie. For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they were. 
You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. You beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me? I made her dress! Why wait until now for such a horrible plan? You don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment, Discord. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news or the bad news? That wasn't the bad news. All my chaos magic is gone, trapped in Grogar's bell. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Rogar's magic. In what world is that good news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight, Luna, we need to make a plan. Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. I... I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. The lame six are so busy being perfect, they haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how great revenge is? Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom, because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now. Then we'll stop them. How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough, and that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels. Twilight, it doesn't matter if Discord set up your successes or not. We believe in you, and always have. Lean on your strengths to counter your weaknesses. My strengths? Right, Spike! Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars to guard the borders of Canterlot. If the villains are coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor. They're our final line of defense if we fail. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing. Chrysalis, say something nice about T-Rex. No, oh, he's red. T-Rex? She's uh, not as annoying as I expected. Good! Now we were talking about Grogar's bell. We should take the magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That much chaos magic in our veins. But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess if you need a guinea pig to find out if any pony can use chaos magic, I'll volunteer. <laughs> Now I have more power than all of you! Kneel before my might! <laughs> you still think chaos magic is a good idea? Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, where should we strike first? <laughs> Everywhere. We faced enemies of Equestria before, and we've always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. You're welcome. Dude, read the room. So I ask for your help again today in what is our biggest battle yet. All of Equestria is at stake. And I can't do this alone, but I'm not afraid. Because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power, no pony can ever bring us down. Oh, come on! Where'd you get that? A daily affirmations calendar? Yeesh. Cozy Glow? 
You're about to wipe the floor with you! <gasps> wow, it's true! Alicorns really do have more fun! Spread out and stay ready, friends. Canterlot depends on us. to a legendary meal. Stay with your buddy, no running. Just follow Counselor Trixie. Starlight, star bright. Where's the pony I want to fight? I have to go. You got this? No pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie. Just the head mare I want to see. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> what is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you! <laughs> Stay still so I can blast you. Oh yeah, real motivating. <laughs> For that, put it on my tab. <laughs> now I'll have all eternity to take my revenge on you. Down, cozy glow. Gee, I guess I could, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Ready, sister? Wait, what are you? with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains! Keep telling yourself that. Now! Whoa! Surprise attack! <laughs> Fly, my pretties! Your pathetic shield can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. 
You can attack us, and we may fall, but Equestria will still stand, united in friendship, and we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. What's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. Why are you so 